I am gonna call Bill and we are gonna take a tour of the shop, which is her favorite shop. So everything's all clean. Now is a good time to do our shop tour. Okay, sounds good. So can you show us around a little bit? Sure. Where are we gonna start? This is the office. I just cleaned the office. We can show it off, right? <laughs> that small part of the office is skis. That larger part of the office is skis. So this stuff's all mostly done, right? Yeah, everything here is headed out and we can't fit it all out in here so we have some back stock of stuff that has to go out upstairs as well. Okay, so good. We just finished a large batch, about 300 pairs of skis. There. Excellent. And did you see that I cleaned, cleaned the desk off? Yeah. Except for all this stuff, I, yeah. this was what was under the paper. Hmm. Yeah. It's a lot of good stuff. Yep. Okay, upstairs. You weren't that impressed. As you can see, there are skis, skis, and more skis. Like what, what kind of skis are they? Whose skis are they? There are Mod Shoes, Fisher, Solomon, and I don't even know whose they are, really. There's so many of them. We've got all our new Matsu skis right on this rack. I did the math on this. We're down below 60% of the Matsus we picked on this rack still available to sell. Nice. That's good. Yeah. So this stuff's all going out. Yes. And this is what we're not showing everyone, all our personal crap. Oops. Yeah, don't show that. What I'm doing when I come up here is being over here. Over where? What's over there? A lot of my old stuff. Oh, like your toys and things? Yeah. Oh. So we've got, on this rack are a lot of the athletes we help out on the U.S. team. But here's Noah's skis, and this looks like Tad's right here. We've got Ida's. Um, uh, Jenny Bender's got a bunch of skis here. We've got Skylar Davis. Um, it looks like Sylvan's and Chris Freeman's. Um, and then this is our skate ski selection for Fisher right now, and we've Zach's picking some more up on Friday. Another, what are we getting? Another 60 pairs, I think. Okay, I don't really recall, but, um, and then here's our classic collection of Fisher, and I think we've got some more coming of those. Um, some Caldwell skis, like Patty Caldwell. Oh, Sophie, Patty. Sophie, yep. Um, that lot. And then the back side of that is just our personal skis. Oh, Solomon demos. We haven't got the Solomon inventory. That should be showing up any day. Right. Where are we going to put that? Well, we'll have to reorganize some of this stuff. So, as you can see, there are more skis here. This is the shop space. So, right now, I believe this whole rack here and this here are in skis. So, they're waiting to be ground in this batch and the next batch. So we've got a backlog of, I don't know, maybe 500 pairs right now that we've got in the queue. So you put wax in there, turn it on, and it heats up the wax, you roll a ski over that, the wax is the ski. Yep. These are all finished skis there. Finish? Finished. Finished. Done. Finished. These all need to be race hardened. Yep. I've been working on that this morning. Okay. Um, and then these are in this next batch here. So we've got two of these rolling racks. It'd be nice to have a third one. But uh, when we don't want to put the whole rolling rack, we can just put, put uh, a little three rows or something. Um, but otherwise, we can roll these big racks right in there, which is pretty neat. Also, that that's a big stone grinder, a big stone thingy that you put up on the grinder like most stars. And then those are some two and a half pound weights. And then Tom, this is your grinding batch here that yep. is currently prepared for uh, flattening? Yeah. I need to introduce Tom. Tom worked with us at Boulder Nordic Sport well, for the two years we were out there and ran the grinding there last year and previous as well. He's probably run more skis 
in terms of passing cross-country skis through a stone grinder than maybe all but two or three people in the United States. I, I do tend to make a big deal about the importance of experience when you're running the stone grinder. So having Tom is a real asset to us. He's uh... You're saying stuff and I couldn't hear you, sorry. No, I'm talking to the camera, Tom. Put oh, your headphones sorry. back on. I promised him when I told him he could come and work with us that we would chain him to the grinder. But uh, as you can see, I, I was totally exaggerating. We only use a rope and it's mostly symbolic. Carry on. Do you ever work in the shop? Yes, sometimes I do. Hmm. Would you like a snack? Yes. Let's go get it.